My name's Sarah Laval and I'm on, I've just finished the illustration course. At the moment, I am predominantly focusing on portraiture and figuration. Um, yeah, I, I, I sort of transitioned into painting halfway through second year um, from being quite strict illustration. Um, I was lucky enough to be chosen to do the um, exchange programme with Minneapolis College of Art and Design, um, which completely changed everything for me. Um, I took a painting class there with the most phenomenal teacher called John Gaunt, who, um, yeah, he, he, he told me to paint because I wanted to paint. And um, since then, I've just developed this deep fascination with the human form. And um, I, I look mostly at the, the psychology and um, philosophical undertones of, of, of um, people and portraiture. And that's what drives me. And I don't think I'll ever get bored of it. Um, yeah, so I'm painting at the moment. I found the illustration course um, to be, it's just, um, the word that comes to mind is just uh, like substantial. There's just so much that goes on. Um, people often ask me why I didn't do painting um, and I wouldn't change that for the world. Um, the, the course here is just so inclusive. Um, there's just this like hot pot of different specialisms and um, interests and I think that just fe like feeds everyone. So the, the, my final painting actually was a response to a brief about the Meiji restoration, which is just something I would never look at. And it completely changed my whole style. Um, so being, being given briefs and also being um, alongside people that are making books or making gifts or doing graphic design, it just, you get these influences that you just wouldn't get otherwise. Um, yeah, so it's, it's just this supportive, creative bubble. And yeah, it's been amazing. The course is so intense that um, I would say that it's, it's, it's more that I've, I've made these friendships and relationships on this course that I think that's the important thing for me. Um, I have friends here that I think I'll know forever. Um, the two people I went to America with are now my closest friends. And um, yeah, we're all just chatting about art all the time and hanging out and in the studio. And that's just, I think that's the thing I'll, I've loved the most and that I'll miss the most as well. Um, I think this course has absolutely prepared me for um, being a practicing artist. Um, that's something I say quite often. Um, there's so many talented artists out there, but the thing that this course in particular teaches you is how to present your work and how to get it out there in a professional manner. I think that is something to do with illustration and graphic design. So I just had to make a catalogue of my work, which I was a little bit reluctant to do because it seemed like such a massive task. Um, but photographing my work, talking about it, binding it together in this thing that I feel really good about, I think you know, that's, that's how I can get, you know, to do what I've, I've always dreamed of doing, of being an artist. It's, yeah, it's really been great. What next? So I'm actually doing a internship next year at an online art advisory company called Artvisor. Um, I love writing about art as well as making it. Um, that's something I've loved about this course as well. The, the, my dissertation was so much fun. Um, probably sound a bit lame saying that. Um, but yeah, so that's in London. And then I've got a few commissions on the go and hopefully we'll find a way of, of, of making a living out of what I love.